See, this is what you sound like. No, never admit that. Never admit that, my man. Do not do that, bro. I'm saying it. Dating athletes? Yeah, let's watch this instead. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Ronnie. I'm 23 years old. My type are athletes. I love going free diving in the ocean. I love snowboarding. I love going to the gym, working out. Just being fit and being outdoors is what brings me happiness. I do. Bro, how can I be ginger phobic? My bitch is ginger, okay? The fuck do you mean? Like, you can't come at me with uh, ginger phobia accusations. That man was a little too ginger, though. Wendy, need a big boy. I am so ready. I'm so excited to see you all meet today. <laughs> Physical. Physical. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's wearing a Speedo. <laughs> all right, well, hi guys. My That's name is crazy. Ronnie. I played softball at a four year university in Hawaii, and I'm really excited to get to know you guys. Nice to meet you. So excited. Hi, my name is Akemni, E for short. I'm 25. Uh, my sport, I mean, you can tell by the dumbbell, the gym. Uh, I don't do it for my the sport, like, the I gym. Like look good. Okay, yeah. I feel that. Nice. Gonna slut shame some more now? Yes, I am. Yes. I, I, I am heavy into male slut shaming, okay? Yeah. Put some fucking pants on. What is this? Good to meet you. My name is Edgar. I'm 24 years old. Uh, as you can see, I play soccer. Fun fact about me is I had. A bow cut when I was a kid. He had the oh. Edgar cut. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ronnie. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. My name's Daniel. I'm 25 I years old. I got a PLB back. I got another dumbbell, kind of rusty. I got it five years ago when I was still a little skinny. Um, so, <laughs> and then a fun fact about me is that I do speak six languages. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, talk to me. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> that was smooth. Okay. Uh, hi, good to meet you. My name is Alex. I'm uh, 22 and I brought a, my ball sack with a lot of different <laughs> sports inside. Okay. And then I have knee sleeves because I like powerlifting, strength training. And then fun fact about me, part of my eyebrows are a little bit gone because when uh -huh. I was young, my brother convinced me to get the little cheap razors and to oh, like, no. shave my unibrow with the razor. <laughs> uh -huh. And like half my eyebrow was gone and then never really grew back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Very it's fun teaching. fact. How you doing, Ronnie? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, thank you. My name is Garrett, I'm 21 years old. I'm an active MMA fighter. I brought these uh, wraps right here. This is for my last fight, which I won, so. These will be worth a million dollars one day. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, fun fact about me, my first time out of the state, uh, mm -hmm. I went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, to be honest, know what Hawaii was, you know what I mean? I knew uh -huh. it was far or something, but I didn't know what it actually was. So mm -hmm. when I first stepped on the beach and uh, the water and all that, it was absolutely amazing. I felt super blessed. That's super cool. If you don't mind me asking what island? Oh, wow. Okay, that's yeah, why I live. Basic, I know. <laughs> basic? <laughs> Isn't that the one, everybody, that's the one everybody goes to? <laughs> I lived there for three years and I lived my dream life. No, it's, there. it's amazing. Don't get me wrong, but you know, <laughs> that's not what everybody gets. It's okay. I feel you. I feel you. You're good. <laughs> How are you doing, Ronnie? My name is Jordan. I'm 26. My sport was football, as you can see, the helmet. Mm -hmm. um, a fun fact about me uh, today's my birthday. Oh my gosh, happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rodney. Hi. <laughs> I'm Ray. I'm 24. Uh, I'm wearing my prop. I see. I, <laughs> uh, I was a slimmer. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I, and one thing about me is I recently found out that I'm not allergic to mangoes anymore. Amazing. Mangoes <laughs> so are the best So I've been binging on mangoes. Okay, super cool. All right. Hi, Ronnie. My name is Luke. I'm 22 years old, and my sport's a little unique. It's pickleball. Um, I try to stay active in my sports right now from a coaching side, so I coach youth soccer and youth tennis. Okay. Um, and it's, it's really great to kind of see the sport from a new perspective, and mm -hmm. honestly, it's like having 12 little brothers, which is awesome. <laughs> I'm not Italian, but I can make you the best homemade ravioli, and I speak Italian as well. Do you? Why? Okay, Italian food is my favorite, so good awesome. to know. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, my name's Tyler. I'm 26. I played a bunch of... Dude, what's up with pickleball? Like, everyone's talking about it nonstop. What is that? Like, I don't fucking understand. 
I hear it all the time. People always are talking about like, oh, I love pickleball. I love pickleball. Like, what the fuck is it? It's like tennis. Okay. You use a pickle as a ball? Really? That's what I always thought. Like, what's up with that? What? Why is it called pickleball? I think Will likes it too. It's like gay tennis. What? What is that? Wait, why? <laughs> tennis can be gay. I don't know why you think it's ball with a pickle on it. It's like a smaller court. What is pickleball? When you hear pickleball, don't you think of tennis? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Pickleball resembles sports such as tennis, ping pong, and badminton. Players use a paddle made of wood. Composites are graphite. The balls look a lot like wiffle ball. However, they're denser and more durable, representing a similar size baseball. The quarter size is 20 feet. How Pickleball got its name in the summer of 1965 it was founded by Joel Pritchard, Bill Bell, and Barney McCallum on Bainbridge Island, Washington. Within days, Joel Pritchard had come up with the name Pickleball, a reference to the thrown together leftover non starters in the pickle boat of crew races. I'll beat you in a pickleball match. Is where people want to pretend they are good at a ragged sport? And don't have the time or dedication to play an actual one, bro. What the fuck? It was named after their dog. It's required at most schools. Wait, really? How's the weather by you? One, 01, 07 affecting foothills of the central and southern Sierra Nevada to the transverse range of Southern California. Why does this shit look like a dick? A dick and balls. You betcha. You betcha. Can you watch the Vox video so we can see how pickleball is a danger to our society? Uh, later. Let's watch this. Sports growing up and stuff. Then I just started working out and stuff, wanted to get into shape. But mm. I, my whole life doesn't revolve around it. Like, whenever I go out, people ask me about lifting. I'm like, can we not talk about lifting for, like, the first, like, <laughs> at least 20 minutes? But... Good to meet you all. You too. Hey, you too. Um, okay, okay. Hold on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay, so the first person that I want to eliminate is Edgar because soccer is the one sport that I really don't Yo. know anything about. I also I've never even seen a soccer game, so I think My that's Latino the reason I'm gonna eliminate you. But you seem like a really sweet guy. That's fucked up. Missed out. That's fucked up. Many games together. <laughs> It's so nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> okay, to be fair, that wasn't the, the biggest L. Let's be real. All right. And the second person that I'm going to eliminate is Garrett. She's a Pinaldo fan. <laughs> yeah. That's why she said Ronaldo on top. Because he called Hawaii basic. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Bro, you know his ass listens to the podcast, okay? I can tell. I can tell he is a podcast listener right there, okay? You can tell this motherfucker loves podcasts. Bro, that's you? I don't got cauliflower ear, man. How dare you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, Ronnie, I was curious yeah. what your biggest kind of motivation is and kind of your future and pursuing to be your best self. Oh, that's a really great question. I'm very family oriented. I'm very close to my family. And so when you got cauliflower ear like that, can you put can you put that shit in your ear? Can you put like earbuds in your ear or like how does that work? No, all I want to do is just like make my family proud. What kind of music you like listening to? Like who's your favorite? Ooh, OK, good question. <laughs> I like all kinds of music besides maybe like Screamo. Okay. Um, I love <laughs> house music like Dom yeah, Dalla, yeah. DJ Snake. What about you? Who's like your top favorite artist? Wait, I thought I her answer asking the questions. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know who Smino is? Wait, say that again, sorry. Smino. I don't think oh, I see, know I'm that. Oh, see, I'll put you on, don't worry. Okay. 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 What muscle group do you look at for guys? Oh, great girls <laughs> like back. Great question. But arms, <laughs> what about you? Right? Just your like perspective. Like okay, okay. Um, for me, 
a mm. good back mm. and a good like bicep. Mm. Like I could just wrap my arm around like when we're walking. Like I could feel safe. I feel protected. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. okay. I see you. Why do Jack dudes when they get together, everything turns into a fucking reality TV show? Why can't Jack motherfuckers just be normal? Like that? Why do they have like? It literally automatically turns into. It literally automatically turns into fucking like, uh, what is it? Too hot to handle, or one of those like Netflix shows where it's like dumb sluts, <laughs> fuck, but they're not allowed to. Says you, I I just don't I don't get it. Um yeah, that for me that is what I find most attractive in. No dad bots, huh? Oh, no, I like a dad bod. I like oh. a good dad bod. I want him to be, like, bigger, stronger than me. I want him to, like, be able to, like, lift me, throw me. Like, I'm into that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I mean... I can do what you're over at Are you okay? Oh, yes, I do okay. have friendship. Okay. I, they have little hearts on them for Valentine's okay. Day. Oh. Gotta be on theme. Oh. Yeah. As of right now, February 14th is open for me. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right, the first person I'm gonna eliminate Speedo guy. Is Tyler. I don't think you asked me a question this round, which is okay. I, I asked that your nails were French. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi. Oh my God, what is, is that, that facial nails? hair, bro? Okay, the second person that I am going to eliminate. Bro, big homie's face looks like one of those like old timey, like old timey photos. Like, like he, he just straight out, it looks like a 1920 strong man who'd be on like one of those bicycles with like one really big wheel and one small wheel. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Hello. That's right. You see, I'm the strongest man of the continent. What the fuck is this, bro? What is happening? Sounds like you're insecure about that. What? It's so nice to meet you. Okay, the second person that I am going to eliminate is Ray. Sounds like I can't grow any facial hair. Yeah, me, famously incapable of go growing facial hair. <laughs> you seem like yeah. a really fun guy, but just not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Oh, dude. So nice oh, to meet you. L. All right. And the last. L. She didn't even go with that. That's a L for her. This person that I'm going to eliminate. He was good looking. Is Daniel. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> eh. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Nice to see you again. Good Did to see you. Okay, so E. <laughs> I go by E. Ah, okay. Ooh, wow. Good to see you. <laughs> What's your ethnicity? I'm Hispanic and German. Okay, okay. So can you dance? That's my question. Because I can't <laughs> dance and uh, we can't both have two left feet. It's not going to work. I love dancing. Okay, okay. Yes. What do you like dancing? Um, just like I'm being like out at a club, like with my friends. Mm -hmm. But I did Tahitian and hula dancing for five years. You did what? Tahitian and hula dancing. What's that? Oh fuck. Um, it's like a type of like Polynesian. Okay, style. Look, look, you can teach me later. Okay. <laughs> now, what do you like to do on your free time? Um. I'm Wait, hula dancing is. I thought like hula hooping, right? I thought that's what she was saying. Oh shit, it's the the Polynesian dancers that like they do the do 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 pretty far. On my free time, I love reading. I know I said like I love being like outdoors all the time. Okay. Um I love spending time with my family, spending time with my friends. Okay, so I was more thinking like, you know when you're alone? Uh-huh. What do you like? Who do you watch? What do you What's your favorite form of entertainment? Um, I love watching movies. Okay. I'm a big like movie buff. Okay. Um, my favorite movie is Into the Wild. It's based on a true story and it's also a book. Okay. Um, I also love like rom-com movies like The Titanic, The Notebook. Okay, look, I like rom-com too, but I yeah. watch, you watch anime? I've actually never seen anime, oh. but I hear so many people I, talk about yeah, it Yeah, because it's good. <laughs>
the that's fuck is that? We'll talk about it. Okay, okay what so do you suggest? I, I need, what should I watch? I have to go through my list. It's on my phone. So okay. I can send you a list after this. Okay. Um, but this rom-coms that I watch because, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes you need to oh, take a break no. from the... Dude, he watches... Wait, don't tell me he watches anime rom... He, he does not watch romantic anime, please. That's the final stage of weebdom, Okay. That is like, don't ever admit that shit in public, okay? Don't act like you don't know. No, I only watch, like, shonens and shit. You guys already know. I don't like romantic animes. I feel like romantic animes are not for me. It's, like, too much. Ah. You know, I'm not, I don't want to hear a guy screaming in my ear all night. Uh-huh. But, like, there's some, like, it sounds weird, but some high school rom-coms, right? Okay. Oh! Them- See? This is what you sound like. No, never admit that. Never admit that, my man. Do not do that, bro. That is so stupid. One piece of romantic anime, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Brother, I would never, even if I said like I watch anime, I would never like ever describe in detail what the animes I'm watching are. Okay? He was so Batman couldn't get this info out of me. Dude, CIA black site torture. Okay? They black bag you. They put you in a fucking airship. They literally, they dangle you outside of the airship. They pull the black bag off your head. They say, tell me what kind of animes you watch and explain them with ages that of the characters. I'm like, nope, kill me right now. Throw me off this plane right now. In love and it's like, uh-huh. this is so sweet. Like I want to fall in love with high school again. Um, oh! Yeah. Thank you. It was nice chatting with you. Ah, Running, you know what brings you out here Mm -hmm. to SoCal? Mm -hmm. So I'm born and raised in Southern California, Uh Long Beach girl. Are you a big hike person? I'm a very big hike person. I love going on hikes. I have yet to go on a lot of hikes here in California, but I'm like very open to it. Bro, he just, he, he just, he killed it. Like the first guy ruined his chances. Are you a big hiker? In NorCal, there's a, yes, there's a lot. There's like... A big waterfall Mm -hmm. that goes onto the beach. It's like a five mile hike all across the coastline. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful thing. You can climb up the waterfall because there's a rope there. Uh So if you're feeling like risky, you definitely do that. (laughs) Did you do that? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And I had a whole bunch of stuff to fall on. (laughs) What would you say is like the most like riskiest, scariest thing you've like ever done? Like bungee jump. So I've always wanted to go skydiving, but I'm so scared to. Why would you do it? It's like, okay, it's one of those things where like, I'm down, uh-huh. let's do it. Uh-huh. But when the time comes, my hands get clammy and everything. <laughs> Cause like for roller coasters, I love roller coasters. Okay. But I have to warm up for it yeah. and everything. Are you, are you down to go skydiving or have you gone? I would be so down to go skydiving. Okay, you gotta convince me, I'm really nervous. <laughs> Nerding out about physical activity, you talking about shoujo, okay. I mean, I, I definitely hate hiking and I definitely have maybe sometimes, uh, on accident, uh, watched anime. Okay. Uh, but like, dude, yeah, I honestly, I just don't fucking understand as someone who is very physical, like I I do a lot of physical shit. Okay. I do. I love working out. I work out every fucking morning before, before I start the broadcast. I usually work out after as well. I play basketball. I love touching grass. I just don't understand how motherfuckers make that their personality. I It makes literally... Okay. Making anime your personality makes more sense than making physical activity your personality. I'm not even kidding. Because anime is so wide. Okay? And I'm not saying this as like an advocate. I'm not a weeb, obviously. But I feel like when you're working out, it's just like it's so... It's so one dimensional. Like, even if you're doing all these different kinds of physical actions, I don't know. I just feel like it's weird. I, I don't get it. I, I, I actually don't get it. It's so boring. And I say this as someone who works out more than the average person. You know what I mean? I do two a day sometimes. You know what I mean? I, I love working out. It's still so like, eh, I don't know. Oh, you like hiking? Sick. Like, tell me what you watch. What kind of content? Are you consuming? Bro, look at your audience right now. Of course, most of chat is going to agree with you. I guess that's why we are in agreement. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great talking to you. Likewise. Well, um, I see you from, you went to school in Hawaii, right? I did, yes. Well, f- last year for my 25th birthday, mm. I was in Hawaii. I was in Waikiki. Okay. This yeah, guy's I was like win. 10 minutes away from Waikiki. He's the best okay. looking. What did you do little, there? I was in the mopeds. Oh, okay. I went by myself. So like oh, I, you went by yourself? Yeah, I solo travel. That? I solo travel everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, so I did the little mopeds. I went to Hawaii, the school. Uh-huh. And then I did that that uh, hike that's like a volcano. Diamond Head. Diamond Head. Yes. I did that. Took some nice pictures there. 
What else? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you could have dinner with one famous person, who would it be and why? Not Jay-Z. It would, it would <laughs> definitely be uh, probably like Rihanna. Okay. Hi, Rihanna. <laughs> she's been like my crush since Umbrella. So like, I she, mean, she's I would, everyone's crush. Yeah, she's been a crush. I would definitely take her on like a nice date at a restaurant. Yeah. You know. What restaurant? Bro, I do not understand how motherfuckers solo travel either. Uh, like that is also odd probably to Probably like, um, no, I've never been, uh, what is it? No Fogo disrespect. Date. No disrespect to those who do. I just don't get it. Like, I, I don't get it. Uh, probably like, um, you know. What restaurant? I would definitely take her on like a nice date at a restaurant. Yeah. You know. What restaurant? Uh, probably like, um, no, I've never been, uh, what is it? Fogo de, uh, Fogo de Chao? So Damn, he's got no, he's got no riz, dude. No charisma. Like that? That? It's there's one out here in LA. Okay. It's like a Brazilian like steakhouse, and they bring you food and they like cut it up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I did that once. Okay, yeah. that sounds super good. Mm -hmm. Right now, I just trade stocks. Okay. So I trade stocks. I invest and L. work from home, and I just mm. travel. L. That's it. That's super cool. I don't know much about stocks. I can teach you. <laughs> okay. I can, I can I teach you. I probably should learn about stock trading. I just feel like I don't know. I'm L. big in like saving, investing, mm -hmm. and the future. That's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something I'm big on. <clears throat> I think we can all agree. Oh my God, they hit a pause. They hit a pause so long that like they cut it out and they still had to have the producer step in and go, all right, bye. I see you, goodbye. Hi, goodbye. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Huh? Um, so I was curious, mm -hmm. a lot of jewelry, at least in my nope. family, has meaning. I was wondering oh, if okay. you had nope. any kind of personal meaning. Um, so this ring is actually from my mom. It has like a whole bunch of like good luck charms on it, like seven, oh. a clover, an elephant, like a heart. And so I wear this every single day because awesome. it's like it's like for my mom and it's like a little good luck charm that I have. But besides that, I just I'm a Hasanabe hairline. Fuck you. OK, literally, fuck you. That is not the Hasanabe hairline. How dare you, dude? Hassan's stepson, you know what? You're disowned, okay? This is why I have body dysmorphia, you fucks. Gold girl, I love okay. wearing gold jewelry. I'm a silver guy. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I see you have I know, I'll buy you gold. Are you a watch guy? Like, are you into, like, watches? Um, I'm becoming one. Yeah? I think, kind of, I work in real estate. Okay. So, watches, it's just kind of, you know, with it. Yeah, it looks good um, with, like, a suit and everything. Yeah, I think I be I'm becoming one. I never really was. I was always, like, a $5 watch. Yeah. Like, it's purpose is to tell time but yeah now it's kind of a little flashier so yeah okay so. i was curious kind of what like how many siblings do you have if you mm -hmm. have any and kind of what your dynamic is like so i have two younger sisters okay. robbie and ricky and we're all super close like my family we're very very close we always do like family trips at least once a year that's awesome and um yeah i'm just very family oriented i have cousins that live like super close to me as well so we do like pretty much everything together family is just really important to me what about yourself i have two older sisters so i'm the baby okay um, i actually come from a family that is almost all girls cousins okay. bro i swear to god fucking sports guys are so boring oh my god yeah the anime guy came across with like way more personality than anyone else and everything i uh -huh. was the youngest boy and the first boy mm -hmm. um but i mean i'm very close with them we all live together um and growing up they would kind of pick on me because, you know, younger brother is kind of what it is. Uh -huh. I'd see my sister at high school and she would literally 180 it the other way. Uh -huh. um, but we've grown up. We're kind of maturing together. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really cool to just kind of do things together. Okay. And I remember anime you guys mentioned whole that you like to cook anime. How is right? that exciting? What's like your favorite meal that you've ever cooked? Listen, I'm not a weeb, okay? But like anime is way more exciting than this shit, dude. Holy fuck. Probably the ravioli. Really? Yeah. So when I, I'm in the kitchen, I kind of just like see what I have and uh -huh. make something of it. Um, so I saw that I had stuff to make that and I made it and it was actually very good. So, yeah. Okay. There's this like one of the best like Italian restaurants I've ever been to is called Sunny's in San Clemente. Sunny's, okay. I, I would highly suggest going there. Okay, cool. Like, is, it like is cooking a W or L for a guy? Is it W? What do you mean? Of course it's a W. That's awesome. Yes, okay, it's like a cute food. little like, I wouldn't, it's like nicer than a hole in a wall restaurant. Yeah. Um, but their fettuccine Alfredo is like fire awesome i'm yeah. lactose intolerant are you really but i'll order it for you oh. or something else <laughs> L. good to see you Ryan. good to see you
So today, I'm gonna be choosing. Wait, what? Alex, because I felt more comfortable talking to him and I think we both are on the same level of like being like family oriented, kind of oh like family. Oh my cousin. God. And Look at his face. Look at anime boy's face, dude. He's like, oh my God. I think God. we both are. He just looked him up and down. Of, like, being like family oriented, kind of like family comes first. And that is one of the main like more. He should have won. I'm not saying that because he likes anime. Morals and values that I'm looking for in a future partner. Guys, sorry. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Roddy, I feel so special. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what will you guys do on your first date? Definitely hike. I think He's so. Gonna write him in his hike. Hike. Oh my god, sick. Have fun hiking, guys. Oh my god. Literally, what the fuck, dude? Oh, I love. What is this trash taste? Lied to your face and stole your content? How's it going, bros? Today I'm gonna rate and eat every single candy. And with me as a guest is... Hi. Joey the Anime Man. It's me. <laughs> Let's go. Why did they lie to my face? I don't understand. And stole my content? I mean, I tried Japanese candy as well, but... Actually, you know what's really funny about this? I said I wanted to do a Japanese candy taste test, and then I never got around to doing it. I bought the candy, and then Ray did the candy instead, the candy taste test instead, without me. And I wanted to do it possibly with, uh, with, with someone from... Well, not someone. Ray and Sakuna did it first. First of all, I literally did it first with Cutie out here and with Halloween candy, okay? With Cutie and Myth. But also, I wanted to do it in Japan. I went and literally got the fucking candy... Finish the video, there's an unexpected ending. Wait, really? Uh, we can go to the beach, and then what about food? What's your favorite food? I love Mexican, Italian, poke. We'll go Mexican. <laughs> Italian doesn't count. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Ryan Sykes did the Japanese taste test vid. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I know, motherfucker. That's what I'm referencing. I was the one who, get, who got those candies, okay? I can't believe March is in here right now lying, too. I was the one who went and fucking purchased those candies because I wanted to do it on my stream. And then I was like, oh, no, we'll do it together uh, for for you, like content on your channel. And then, yeah, I didn't get to do any of those, okay? Oh. <laughs> it is. I bought all those candies. Me, I bought those. Damn, 500K views, nice. They didn't even like any of the ones you bought, too? Okay, well, I don't want to hear about this. Okay, I don't want to see this. This is betrayal. Hassan prep for a stream? Yeah, sure. I literally did. What the fuck? Y'all are crazy. Italian doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Wait. Um... Oh my god. Oh no. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's brutal. You're right. I shouldn't have paused. I was literally going to fucking walk away from this. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> Okay, um I'm so sorry. I think Ronnie might have said the wrong name. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bro, take the L at that point. Just go on a date with him. Live a fucking happily... Live a life happily ever after. You know what I mean? There's no way you come back from that. That's crazy. You literally... That's brutal. You know, you have to take the L. You literally... You have to go on a date with this guy at that point. You can't. Oh, my God. No, she don't want to hike. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, this is Tally. Wait, didn't. What's your name? Luke. Okay, yeah. Wait, what did I say? You said Alex. Alex. 
<laughs> I take back everything I said about Italian. I love Italian food. It's the best. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, why did she literally talk? <gasps> I like when the guy makes the plans. Okay, well, so. I think she was like in her mind going through it and was like, should I just like play along with this? This is really awkward. I don't fucking know. And then decided like, nah, this guy likes hiking way too fucking much. You know, fuck it. I'm done.